A previously vacant space above the university bookshop is a hive of activity as preparations for the midwinter carnival are well underway. The room has been offered as a carnival workspace for the first time this year, with one organiser describing it as perfect for their needs. When I saw it, I just thought, this is amazing because we can get all our, um, our artists and makers and volunteers here that are helping us back, backstage, making props and stuff. We can have them all working together and we can leave stuff here and come back to it and we have the space to build quite large things. Also for the first time this year, the carnival will feature lantern costumes with fairy lights laced inside skirts and hats worn by stilt walkers. Today the finishing touches were put on the bird lanterns, as well as tissue papering the tiny little birds which will be carried inside cages high in the air by performers. This year's theme is Journeys of Discovery, which is based on the idea that everyone in New Zealand, from first people to early settlers, arrived here not so long ago. But also the uh, centenary of um, Captain Scott's um, exploration of Antarctica and also Sir Edmund Hillary's anniversary of the ascent of Mount Everest. So all those things come together and you'll see, people will be able to see those themes woven through our event. And all should go to plan, provided the weather patterns are merciful. A little bit of wind is fine, we can handle that, but high winds no good. Um, little showers are fine, but torrential rain or is no good because it will actually ruin our delicate um, lantern structures and also uh, as happened last year um, icy road conditions it's not good for families to go out and about in that weather. And a double hulled canoe lantern called a waka ama as well as a Captain Cook style sailing ship lantern will also be seen for the first time this weekend. Devi Narona, 39 Dunedin News.